Eat reporters first, please. Yeah, Steve, what aspect of this did was like most disheartening? Oh, we, we were just never in the game. I mean, right from the beginning, uh, we were fouling, fouling them like crazy. I think they had 16 free throws in the first quarter, uh, 26 maybe in the first half, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and then we got destroyed on the boards and we turned it over. I mean, we had no chance from the, from the very beginning, we weren't ready to play and, and, uh, and they came out and, and played a great game. So just a very disappointing night overall. Steve, was there any indication that the team was in a situation where it could be uh, right for a letdown? Uh, no, none at all. Um, you know, coming in here, having won three in a row, feeling pretty good about things. Um, you know, everybody in good spirits. Uh, so th this was uh, very, very surprising um, for me. But uh, I've been in the league long enough to know, too, that uh, – there's going to be a handful of games every year that uh, are sort of inexplicable. And this is one that you, uh, you don't spend too much time on. You, uh, you flush the toilet and you, you move on. Toilet. You guys, you guys have had big comebacks this year though. I mean, was it, did you feel at any point, Hey, maybe there can be a rhythm or did you know basically first quarter, like it's just not happening. Well, there was a, there was a period, uh, sort of late first quarter where we got a few hoops and a couple stops. And I think we cut it to eight or something. It was, you know, went from, uh, 16 or 18 down to eight late first quarter. And it felt like, okay, we can settle in. Uh, but it, 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 that, that feeling went away really quickly. So, uh, I never felt like we had any traction in the game whatsoever. Coach, what is the biggest lesson of this big loss against the Lakers? I'm sorry. Go ahead. What is, what is the biggest lesson again about this big loss against the Lakers? Stop fouling. Steve, given that you guys were coming in on a, on a defensive high, especially through the month of February as well, do the fouls as a trouble spot? Does that kind of catch you off guard? Yeah, we had gotten um, much better with that, Gareth, over uh, recent weeks. And um, so it was disappointing to, to kind of go down that hole again. Um, and it, it started right from the very beginning. We reached um, on one of the first plays of the game on a drive. And, um, and they, they had shot, I think, you know, 10 free throws by the time the first time out came and felt like anyway. So... Um, you know, that was, uh, that was just disappointing because, you know, we've, we've talked ad nauseum about defending without fouling and, and rebounding and taking care of the ball. And uh, we didn't do any of those things tonight. What do the next two days look like for you guys? Is there a chance you'll get a good practice Tuesday or will that still be pretty well? Yeah, that's the plan. Tomorrow we'll be off and then, uh, Tuesday, we hope to have a really good practice here before we uh, head to Portland. You switched up that second unit with Juan in there. I, I imagine it's kind of hard to have any takeaways from this game, but did, but did you? Any any thoughts on that second unit? Uh, no takeaways, really. Uh, the game got away from us early, uh, and so we uh, we didn't plan on you know going into the game on on playing that unit to start the second quarter, but uh, the game sort of necessitated it. And uh, so we went, went with that group and it didn't matter. You know, nothing we did worked tonight. Do you see any, about the step? Oh, go ahead, Monty. Do you see any point to like carefully reviewing this game or is this one you just like, you know what? Toss it. Toss it. Toss it. Uh, but I think what we have to uh, really convey to the players is this is three straight games, I believe, with 20 plus turnovers. Uh, and we've been a very good team overall this year in terms of turnovers. And um, so that, you know, we've, we've, the, the message is, you know, we got to start taking care of the ball again, three straight games like that. 
And then there's no way we can go back to being a high foul team uh, and, and expect to be any good. So uh, we need to clean that up before the Portland game. Hey, Coach, Kylan with Cron4. Uh, how much do you think fatigue plays a factor in this point in the season? And do you think your guys will benefit from a couple extra days coming up for the All-Star game next weekend? I think everybody's looking forward to the All-Star uh, break and everybody will benefit from it uh, across the league. Um, but, you know, it's not time for the All-Star break. We've got two games coming up and um, we will get plenty of rest the next couple of days. And then we've, we've got a very important game in Portland that we've got to prepare for. Uh, and that's, uh, that's our focus. Coach, is there anything that you'll replay in your mind as, uh, as the night progresses? Yeah, if we just hadn't turned the ball over, uh, you know, that second time in the first quarter, I think we had them right where we wanted them. That one turnover cost us. Otherwise, the game was ours for <laughs> Coach, over the course, uh, it's James Hill with Black News Channel. Over the course of the season, it's ebb and flow, but just talk about moving forward. And the good thing is there's another game coming up. Well, that's uh, that's the NBA. There's lots of games, and uh, they come one after another. And um, all in all, you know, we're in a pretty good position, and uh, we, we got to get back. Back to uh, being ourselves, which is being a good defensive team and and taking care of the ball and and uh, playing with some rhythm and some flow. So we got away from that tonight. Is there anything you can take away from this game as you move forward? Yeah, don't do that again. All right, thanks everybody. Have a good night. All right, we'll have a few guys in here shortly. Steph, what do you think was the impact of the, the early fouls and sending the Lakers to the line so often? I mean, easy points, obviously, but they're, uh, if I'm not mistaken, one of the top defenses statistically. And so if you give a defense time to set up and get uh, organized, it's, it's harder. They're getting easy points at the line if they're making them. And then we're facing a set defense every possession. And, I mean, I know they remember the last game that we played against them, and they came out with a lot more aggressiveness. And then, like you say, you add that on top of, you know, the equation, it's, it's tough. So, uh, first six minutes, put ourselves in the hole, and uh, they, they kept the pressure on us. It's kind of a tough game all the way around. Did this surprise you? You know, Steve seemed to – you guys have had some blowouts this year, but you kind of seem to be gaining some momentum. Were you surprised that, that this happened? You're always surprised. I mean, there's nothing you can come into the game expecting anything like that, but um, we have been playing well. We've been putting, you know, good performances, you know, stacked, you know, back to back to back. And even, you know, the two that we lost in the last couple of seconds in New York, Orlando type of five, like we felt we've played, you know, the majority of the game I played well, so tough way to start tonight knowing um, that they were going to come out and try to avenge what happened last time, and uh, they did that. Do you feel like you, you guys have had less practice than normal this year because of the circumstances, and then you guys should, you have two off days, you should get a good practice Tuesday. Do you think that will help? Yeah, I think um, we've had a very uh, condensed travel set schedule this last, what, 10 days. Um, with back-to-backs on the East Coast and coming back home for, seemed like a nap, and then back on the road. So uh, all those type of things to get settled and have a good practice to figure out, one, to get our bodies back rejuvenated, but then get our minds locked in. Uh, I feel like we have had less practice, but we've been – with all the different protocols and stuff. I know every team in the league is going through it, but mentally it's just, it's a challenge to stay locked in um, with uh, everything going on. And the good teams, the ones that are playing consistently, you know, bring that mental focus. And tonight, you know, we didn't have it. And what is the biggest lesson of this big, big loss against the Lakers? 
again, they're a great team. They've even without AD, they they uh, they know who they are. They have that championship uh, mindset and experience. And, you know, we got them last time by just competing for forty eight minutes and stealing one down the stretch after coming back tonight. You know, they were more focused and more locked in than we are. We we were in, in that show. How much more difficult is it to get some of that off ball, uh, you know, uncontested dunks when you play a veteran defense that, you know, has probably scouted it? I mean, a little bit harder, but it's still part of the level of execution that we can get to. Um, but again, I, might be too simple because I keep saying it, but it literally was just that first quarter where you, everything was just at their pace because we couldn't get any stops and we were taking the ball either out of the basket or, you know, inbounding it off a free throw. And, you know, they understand our set. So if they have time to prepare, then they're much more likely to be in the right place and, and kind of take us out of our stuff. But, um, you know, we uh, we feel like we still can run our, our offense and execute and, and, and beat even the best teams at it. Uh, Steph, this is uh, David uh, from Italy. Um, uh, forgetting about this game, probably you didn't play at your, at your best as a team. Uh, what do you think of the Warriors' season so far, considering we are almost at the Ulster break? We've been average, and... Uh, We've been playing better as of late, turning in the right direction before tonight. Uh, but our confidence is high, and, and our resiliency has always been there. So I feel like uh, some of our losses have been tough to swallow because they've been like tonight, and some of our you know big wins have been kind of exhilarating and uh, playoff-type atmospheres and, and, and emotions. Uh, but second half of the season – Well, hopefully, well, we got big game Wednesday, so I don't want to get too ahead of myself. But, you know, got to close these last two on the right foot, get get rejuvenated over the break. And nothing's really lost in terms of where we want to be in our in the seating and the chase to solidify, you know, solid playoff position. Hi, Steve. Maria Vidal for Top Deportes in right. Latin America. Okay, last question. Go ahead. Last question. Okay. Um, you were just mentioning the word time. So this team has the time to rest and to switch tables to thinking about Wednesday. So what are the main improvements that you would like to see from your team to step up and just move forward? Um, I think just a, a collective commitment to the things that have helped us win games, which, you know, is so that, uh, you know, rebound a lot better, not fouling and, Uh, try to create, you know, good shots in the offensive end with our execution. So, you know, Wednesday, it'll be a, a really good test again for us on the road against a team that's desperate for a win. Um, and, you know, obviously Dane's been playing amazing, so we got to start the game much better than we did tonight. So, let, you know, sustain that for 48 minutes and, You know, to be a team as, as capable as they are uh, offensively on the road, it's going to take, you know, a, a really good game for us to do that. And obviously we're, we're up for the task, but we got we to gotta go, you know, take it. Great. Thank you, Steph. Appreciate that. We have a couple of the guys in here shortly. The rebounding edge on you. And I know it's the Lakers, but I'm saying, like, do you feel like there's a, a pattern where you guys could be doing more on the boards? Uh, I mean, we try to box out, but again, we just get put in bad positions. So, ball comes off. We just got to stay disciplined, I feel like. Eric, what was the most disappointing part of this loss? Uh, the loss. I mean, if, if we're being honest, just losing. So, I would say that's the, the way we lost. So, that's about it. Eric, was there a sense that you guys were starting to gain some momentum having won these last three games and going down to L.A. with that, with, uh, taking that with you? I, I, I couldn't hear you. It cut off. Oh, I'm sorry. So was there a sense that you guys were gaining some momentum uh, before heading down to L.A. with the last three games, you winning the last three games? Uh, yeah, 
I mean, we played the last three games very well as a team and uh, uh, obviously grinded a few out. So we had some good momentum, but obviously it didn't go our way tonight. Cole, thank you. Appreciate that. Let somebody else sit here shortly.